Hey guys, welcome to SitTech and in this video, I will tell you about the Windows Mobile 10 build 10136, which Microsoft has released today only. So let's get started. So this is the new build which Microsoft has released and if you want to install this build you have to revert back to the Windows 8.1 because this is a bug and you cannot go from previous build to this build so you have to roll back to Windows 8.1 the main change in this build is the UI changes there are many many UI fixes and as you can see the notification panel looks very good and we have also that missing toggle now let's just go to the setting menu this is your setting menu which is same as we have seen on previous builds only the major change is the UI changes the new UI looks very very good we have new fonts etc and this is our old keyboard which we have seen in previous builds also with this build Windows 10 has got many many animations like the lock screen animation and now as you can see as I slide up we have got a new animation sliding up animation now let's go to the photos app and this is your photos app the app is very similar as we seen in the previous builds we have the albums etc and these are the settings there are many changes in the camera app majorly the UI changes as you can see and now in the settings we have also got the transparent settings as you can see we can change the settings as well as look at the image we are capturing majorly all the apps have got certain UI changes mainly the Windows 10 new look the neater look and as you can see this is our dialer app and it's look very neat as compared to what we have seen in the previous build similarly with the calendar app there is not much change in the app only the UI have changed there are also many UI changes in Cortana but as I am residing in India I do not have the Cortana feature the biggest change we got with the previous build was the Windows new store beta and the store beta is same as you have seen the previous build only looks a bit nicer with this build Microsoft has also introduced the one end mode feature by pressing the windows button but I have a Lumia 630 so I can't show you this feature is only for the phones who have screen size 5 or more than 5 inches task manager is also the same as we have seen on the previous build one of the most talked about feature of the windows 10 for both mobile and for pc is the projects pattern or Microsoft Edge browser so let's go to the project Spartan browser and this is the project Spartan browser the browser also got that dark theme which majorly all the apps in this build are getting now let's just go to sittechworld.blogspot.com and as you can see it loaded it pretty fast and there's also not much change in project pattern other than the UI change we have all the settings over here about the browser so this is it guys this is what Microsoft released in this build so what do you guys think do you think that Windows 10 can take the place of Android or iOS or Microsoft can gain some market in mobile industry through Windows 10. Tell me about your views in the comments below. And if you like my video, hit the like button. And if you didn't like the video, dislike it. And do tell me in the comments below how can I improve. Microsoft will be releasing the next build in the next week. So do subscribe to my channel for the further updates of the Windows 10 technical preview for phones. This is Siddharth signing off.